Let's begin with H2O Audio, which came in at $99. This one looked promising. It was the first one on the top of the list when I searched for waterproof swimming earphones. You can use the earphones and connect it to an MP3 player via Bluetooth. But if you are in the water, the problem is the player and the earphones should be as close to 4 inches because Bluetooth cannot penetrate through the water. So what's included in this box is your earphones, your charger, and your product booklet. This earphone has push-button controls which are easy to use and easy to locate. The charging dock attaches easily. It is magnetic and it is what you also use when you copy files through your earphones. As an MP3 player, it has an impressive storage capacity of about 8 gig, so that's about 2k of songs. I'm very excited to try it out later. Okay, coming in, we have Sony WS413. I got this for $103, although I did find new prices for it, which is $78 to $110. Inside the box, we have a lot of accessories. We have the headphones, of course, and the charging dock. The charging dock, which you also use to transfer your music into the MP3 player. And we also have the swimming earbuds with different sizes. Just like the H2O Audio, it has push button controls on each side, which are easy to locate and easy to use. Using the charging dock for the first time, it can get confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy to slip it in. This Sony Walkman headphones have the same IPX8 waterproof rating as the H2O Audio. This Sony Walkman is good to use in the pool and also in the open water. Just make sure that you change your earbuds to the clear ones, which is specifically used for swimming. And if you need a snug fit, these earphones also come with an adjustment strap. With very good reviews online, I am very excited to try this on today. So here we are at the Vermosa Sports Hub and we are gonna finally test out the, the H2O Audio and the Sony Walkman. Before we try them on, let us have the sink or swim test. And the findings of the sink or swim test is that both earphones sink down into the water. So please be very careful when you have them on. Attaching the H2 audio to the goggle straps are pretty easy. It is actually my first time to use bone conduction earphones, so I was very surprised to hear how loud the sound can go. And since it was very easy to use, I wanted my daughter to try it on first and see how it goes. It was snug and fit, and of course we had to put it to the test with some sprints and see if it gets loose when she does tumble turns. Good news, it stayed in place. I don't know with you guys, but I did try to find the Sony Walkman very hard to attach. With all the hustle and bustle of the swim cap and the Google straps, it was very hard to find that snug fit where you can hear the music right. So I tried swimming with it on top of the swim cap and it just felt like it was going to fall off and the sound quality of the right and left ear was kind of different. And then I tried to swim with it under the swim cap. Now everything felt smushed. I just couldn't find the right adjustments because it was under the swim cap. So one ear was muffled and the other ear was clear. Tested this two waterproof na talagang for swimming and guess what happened? Both broke down on their first day. Oh.
It's been a week since I've tested them out of the water. And what's so surprising is that even after one week, it did die on the first day that I used it. Walang light. But then after one week, it still works. So I'm having trouble of trying to return it because it is actually still playing. I can put it up on volume so you guys might hear it on the speaker. Yeah, so there's actually music playing on this one. Ito ayo na talaga siya mag on, okay? So hindi na talaga siya nag on. I charged these for four hours, which was the recommended hours for charging, but definitely does not want to work anymore. And you know what's so surprising? Like after two days, I was just uh, putting this on top of my relax, and I, and then I saw that there were like there was water dripping out of these. I hope they really improve their technology for this one because the sound quality was really good. And these are our findings for the test. So here are the things that are similar to both earphones. Both have push button controls that are easy to use. Both are Bluetooth and MP3 players. They have both IPX waterproof rating. And to add, although both are using their charging cradles to upload music, I found that the h Audio app on the computer is easier to use. And here are some things that are different from both earphones. Now, personally, I don't mind not having the 12 hours and having the 7 hours of battery life instead since I don't really swim that long. Plus, 8 gigs of songs is super enough for me already. But if you are trying to find earphones that are specifically just used for swimming, Studies show that bone conduction earphones are better and healthier for the ears. Now this would have all been awesome if I didn't get the defective product. Unfortunately, both of them broke down on the first day. Well, I hope this helps guys. Have a great day. Bye!